Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Ami. This is a classical, conceptual, but one of the best question of geometry, which is created by maths, not by me. So I would say, please pause the video, try to solve this question. So I hope you have solved this question. This one is quite an easy, but conceptual question of geometry. I'm going to discuss this question in two method method one is the geometry method second one is the coordinate geometry okay so start with the geometry method whenever we have a triangle so i'm going to give you the concept first if you have any triangle say a b c then if ad is the median it divides triangle space in two equal half and if g is the centroid then the ratio of ag to gd is nothing but 2 is to 1 I hope it is okay. The second one is of the angle bisector. If you have ABC is a triangle in which AD is nothing but the angle bisector, then BD upon DC ratio is the ratio of AB upon AC. That means left right ratio is the left base right base ratio. I hope it is okay. If I is nothing but the in center, then AI upon ID is nothing but the sum of left right side upon bottom side. So we can say say AB side is a small c, AC side is small b and the BC side is nothing but a small a. So AI upon ID by the mass point geometry or any basic conceptual knowledge we can say AI upon ID is nothing but b plus c upon a. I hope it is okay. Now the third one is nothing but the Thales theorem. If you have ABC is a triangle and you have nothing but DE line parallel to BC. If this ratio is M is to N, this ratio should also be M is to N. Even we draw any line, the ratio should be M is to N or the vice versa is true. What do you mean the vice versa? If this ratio MN, this ratio MN, it means these two lines are the parallel and we draw any CVN, the ratio should be M is to N only. So I hope it is okay. So first of all, I want to say one thing in the triangle 13, 14, 15. Can we use this concept or not? Assume 14 is the base. This one is a conditional question. So method one is a conditional question with this data only. If we say this one is 13, this one is nothing but 15 and this one is 14. Say the triangle is ABC and the AD is angle bisector. So what is the ratio of AI upon ID? We can say the summation of side is nothing but 28 upon bottom is nothing but 14 is nothing but 2 is to 1. In this AD is median, here AD is angle bisector, but 2 by 1 and 2 is to 1 is just by a chance. So if we have this type of by chance ratio with the median or the angle bisector, we can use Thales theorem how? So we can say this one, just another concept. If you have A, B, C is a triangle and you have A, M is the median and angle bisector. So just say this one is nothing but AD is the angle bisector. I'm writing AD is angle bisector and AM is median. So for this triangle, AI upon ID is nothing but 2 is to 1. For all the triangle, the centroid divides in the ratio 2 is to 1. So we can say when we draw a parallel line and this divides ratio in 2 is to 1. So this is going to pass through in center as well as the centroid because 2 is to 1 ratio is always constant. So for this question, we can say a line parallel to the base divides the sides 2 is to 1 is passing through centroid as well as the in center. I hope it is okay. So let's use these four learnings. One is the 2 is to 1 of the centroid is universal. B plus C upon A is universal. But for this question, if we assume the base is 14, we can say this ratio is 2 is to 1, which is equal to the centroid ratio. But AD and median and in centers are two different lines here. Now solve our question with the help of these four to five learnings. We have a triangle ABC. Say this one is A, this one is B, this one is C, this one is 13 centimeter, this one is 15 centimeter, and 14 centimeter is our base. Let's draw a median. Say AM is median. Since median divides 
I am writing AM is median and median divides the base into equal half. So we can say BM is nothing but 7 unit. I hope it is okay. Fine. Now say AD is angle bisector. AD is nothing but angle bisector. That one is the internal. And the angle bisector theory we can say AB upon AC is equal to BD upon DC is nothing but 13 is to 15. So from here we can say the BD is nothing but 13 out of 28 because 13 and 15 into the total side is 14 is nothing but 6.5. So we can say this one is 6.5, this one is 7. So the DM is nothing but 1.5 or the half. Say this one is 0 0.5 or the half because this complete length BM is 7 and the BD is 6.5. So this one is nothing but a difference. Now we have in center and centroid by chance. I'm saying this one is by chance. Device triangles, these two CVNs in the 2 is to 1 ratio. So we can draw a line parallel to base. Say this one is a PQ line parallel to base. This also divides 2 is to 1. Now in the Thales theorem, just think. If you have A, B, C, and this one is P is 2Q, this divides 2 is to 1, this divides 2 is to 1, we say this one is 0, this ratio should be 0 plus 2, 2, this ratio should be 2 is to 3. So the BC if 3, then the PQ should be 2, if this ratio is 2 is to 1. So we are using the same concept in this triangle. We can say if assuming A vertex weight is 0, so 0, 2 is 2, this one is nothing but 2x or the ratio 2, 2 plus 1 is 3x. So we can say dm upon ig, ratio wise is nothing but 3 is to 2. I don't know the ig ka value, assume x, but I know this one is nothing but 1 by 2. So the 2, 2 cancel, x is nothing but 1 by 3. So the answer of i and g. The distance between in center and centroid for this question is nothing but 1 by 3. So we use 3 to 4 concept to solve this question and this one is quite basic. Uh, I hope this has created a strong understanding of how we use different concepts of geometry in a single question. Fine. So here we use nothing but multiple concepts solving a single question. Answer of this question is nothing but 1 is to 3. I hope it is okay. Now we are going to discuss nothing but coordinate geometry that was method 2. So the for the coordinate geometry, if you have coordinates of A, B, C, the vertices coordinates are say x1, y1, this one is nothing but x2, y2 and this one is nothing but x3, y3. Distance between B to C that is the side BC is termed as A, this one is small b, this one is small c. So the centroid I hope it is okay. The coordinate of centroid is nothing but the average of the x axis or the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. I hope this one is quite well formula. You know all these things. Fine, this one is a coordinate. Now, what is the coordinates of the in center? The in center coordinates is nothing but ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3 upon a plus b plus c. And this one is nothing but ay1 plus by2 plus cy3 upon a plus b plus c. I hope it is okay. Now for what is special about 13, 14, 15? This one is a general formula. So there is nothing special about 13, 14, 15. But we can say by Heron's formula, area of the triangle is nothing but 84 unit by the Heron's formula. Assume 14 is the base. So we can say half into base into height is nothing but the area from here we can say the height on 14 is nothing but 12 unit so if we draw a triangle say a b c where this one is 14 this one is 13 this one is 15 please note it down this one is the important outcome of this triangle height is nothing but half into base into height is the 12 unit this one is 12 this one is 13 we can say bd is 5 if it is altitude, this one is 9. So this satisfy a classical but the basic 
Pythagoras triplets. So please remember it. This one is a classical but basic Pythagoras. 13, 15, 14. Height on the 14 side is nothing but 12. BD is 5 and the DC is 9. So by using coordinate geometry, I am going to assume D as the origin. Okay, so first draw the coordinate geometry plane and assume everything. Okay, let's draw the coordinate geometry plane. This one is our x-axis and y-axis and say this point is our origin. Fine. So say this point is nothing but A, which is height of 12. We have nothing but a B point and we have nothing but a C point. And we just learned the height AD is 12. AB distance is 13, base BD is 5 and the 9. So we can say if this one is D, this distance must be 5, DE distance must be 9. The figure is not as per scale, but I am going to give you the concept of coordinate geometry for this question. Okay, so we draw our triangle on the coordinate plane. The distance of D to A is 12, so the coordinate could be 0, 12. The AB distance, since this one is the x axis, so y should be 0. B is in the left side, so we can say minus 5, 0. This would be nothing but 9, comma 0. If we know AC distance is 15 unit, AB distance is nothing but 13 unit, and the entire BD distance is 14 unit, we can term this one is a small a, this one is a small b, this one is small c. First, find the distance of the centroid. Centroid is the average of x axis as well as y axis. So this one is 0 minus 5 plus 9 divided by 3 and for the y is nothing but 12 plus 0 plus 0 divided by 3. So this one is nothing but 4 by 3 comma 4. This one is the centroid ka coordinate. Now find the coordinate of in center. In center is nothing but 14 into 0 plus 15 into minus 5, this one is minus 5, and 13 into 9, plus 13 into 9. Divide by sum of sides, which one is nothing but 13, plus this, plus this is nothing but 28, 42. I hope it is okay. Now for the y, we have 14 into 12, plus 15 into 0, this one is 0, plus 13 into 0, divide by nothing but 42. So this one is 0, 15 minus 5 is minus 75, 13 9 ja is nothing but 117, so 117 minus 75 is nothing but 42, divide by 42. And this one is nothing but 14 3 ja is nothing but 4, distance coordinate should be 1 comma 4. I hope it is okay. So we have G, we have I, we just need to find the IG ka distance and we know for the coordinate geometry we need to go with the difference. So we have nothing but 4 comma 3 minus 1 ka whole square, x axis ka difference plus y axis ka difference. Which one is nothing but 1 by 3 and this one is the answer. This one is not the ID but IG. I hope it is okay. So we got the same answer because the answer should be the constant. For a constant quotient, constant figure, but we use two concepts. This one is nothing but coordinate geometry concept. The first one was nothing but a plane geometry concept. I hope you can solve multiple concepts for one question. And this one is the learning and demand of the time. So if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me in the comment box. I try to solve your doubts as soon as possible. And if you have any question, give your best. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me the doubts either on a YouTube or on the Facebook or on the WhatsApp. God bless you. Happy learning and bye-bye.